Hello friends, today we will learn how to find cosine or cos of an angle using the natural cos table. Here is the natural cosine table. So the leftmost column has all angles from 0 to 90 degrees, whereas these columns that you see here are the minutes of the angle from 0 to 54 minutes. This is the mean differences column, we will come to this very soon. Now suppose friends I want to find out cos of 48 degrees okay the first step is to locate the 48 degree row so friends here is the 48 degree row the moment you find your row please hide the remaining rows with a paper to avoid confusion now since there is no minutes attached to 48 degrees it's actually 48 degree zero minutes correct so we have to look for the zero minutes column which is right over here and the entry over here is 6691 zero point 6691 so cos 48 degrees is nothing but 0.6691 so this way if you have any angle which has only degrees this is the method you need to follow i hope this is clear friends now suppose instead of 48 degrees i have an angle say which has minutes attached to it say 65 degrees 48 minutes okay now in that case let's first locate where is 65 degrees yes it's right over here now i look for 48 minutes right now 48 minutes is over here yes so just carefully look at the entry what is the entry 65 degrees 48 minutes yes it's 4099 right so let's write that down 4099 now it's not 4099 friends it's actually 0. 4099 so all these numbers that you see there is no decimal point written here but it's understood that you have to write zero point followed by that number so for all these numbers please follow the same rule so we found that cos of 65 degree 48 minutes is 0. 0.4099 now friends there is a third type of angle that we have to discuss which is cos of 23 degree 10 minutes now let's see how to find out the cosine of this angle. So 23 degrees, let's go back. Here is our 23 degree friends over here. This is our 23 degrees. Now we have to look for the 10th minute, right? Let's see. Now here I have 0, 6 minutes and 12. So there is no 10 minutes. So what do we do in this case? We have to follow a slightly different approach. So what we do is, now 10 minutes right so 10 minutes comes between 6 and 12 so which number is lesser than 10 friends 6 or 12 definitely 6 so what we do is we find out cos of 23 degrees 6 minutes so what is this angle it is the angle which is closest to 23 degree 10 minutes and is also lesser than that so let's first find out this cos so 23 degrees once again it's over here and 6 minutes right this is 6 minutes it's 9198 so what is it 9198 preceded with a decimal point now this is 23 degrees 6 minutes but we are interested in this 23 degree 10 minutes so what is the difference yes it is 4 minutes this is called the mean difference friends okay this is called the mean difference the column which we earlier saw this one from 1 to 5 now we got a mean difference of 4 so let's see under the fourth column here and of course 23 degrees okay so let's carefully see that under the fourth minute column yes it's 5 so mean difference of 4 minutes is actually 5 in this case now, although it is written as 5, you should not use it as number 5, but as 0 0.0005, friends. So, the rule here is when whatever mean difference you get, whether it's 5 or 10, you have to always write it in this format, 0 point followed by 4 digits like this. So, here I got 5, I'll write it like this. If I get 10, I'll get like this. So, I hope you understood. So, our mean difference is how much? 0 0.0005 now the last step is remaining we have to subtract it friends from this cos value that we got so please be very careful you don't have to add it now you may ask why should i subtract now the reason is because friends 
cosine graph if you see from 0 to 90 degrees as the angle increases the cos value decreases so it's actually a decreasing function cos of 0 is actually 1 and cos of 90 is 0 so the cosine value decreases friends so cos of 23 degree 10 minutes will actually be less than cos of 23 degree 6 minutes and that's exactly the reason why we have to subtract this mean difference value from this cosine value okay so i hope you understood and in this respect cos function is very different from sine and tan function there you have to add the mean difference whereas here you should never add you should only subtract so this is the value 0 0.9193 this is nothing but cos of 23 degree and 10 minutes so i hope you understood friends how to find the cosine of any angle from 0 to 90 degrees using the natural cost table